The Fargo Park District is the lifeblood of our community. It's where families gather, athletes train, and nature thrives. The September board meeting highlighted the commitment to maintaining and expanding these green spaces. From infrastructure improvements to community partnerships, the dedication to enriching Fargo lives was clear. The Fargo Park District fosters community, recreation, and connection with nature. Decisions made will shape the future of our parks, ensuring vibrant hubs of activity for generations. Iriolt Farm Park, a beloved destination in Fargo, is set to receive a significant upgrade. The board approved a bid for the replacement of aging fencing throughout the park. This project is not merely cosmetic, it's essential for the safety and enjoyment of park visitors. The winning bid, totaling $425,000, was awarded to a local contractor, highlighting the park district's commitment to supporting local businesses. The contractor will replace approximately 2,500 linear feet of fencing, ensuring the park remains secure and aesthetically pleasing. The new fencing will be constructed from durable, weather-resistant materials designed to withstand the test of time and the elements. The project is scheduled to begin in the coming weeks and is expected to be completed by the end of the fall season, weather permitting. The replacement of the fencing at Riolt Farm Park is just one example of the Park District's ongoing efforts to maintain and improve our city's parks. These investments ensure that our parks remain safe, inviting, and accessible for all residents and visitors to enjoy. Collaboration is key to achieving great things, and the Fargo Park District understands this well. The board approved a memorandum of understanding with the City of Fargo for two crucial trail projects. These projects will provide residents with safe and scenic routes for walking, running, and cycling. The memorandum outlines the responsibilities of both the Park District and the City. The Red River Phase 2 trail will extend the existing trail along the Red River, the drain. 27 Trail Crossing will provide a safe passage over a busy drainage ditch. This partnership exemplifies the power of collaboration in creating a more livable city. The Fargo Park District is continuously seeking opportunities to enhance its offerings and expand recreational opportunities for residents. During the meeting, the board discussed and approved applications for several grants aimed at funding vital park improvements. One grant application focuses on securing funding for the development of a new inclusive playground designed to accommodate children of all abilities. This playground will feature sensory-rich equipment, accessible play structures, and a rubberized surface to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for all. Another grant application targets the restoration of natural habitats within existing parks. This project aims to improve biodiversity, enhance water quality, and provide educational opportunities for the community. The restoration will involve planting native species, creating wildlife habitats, and implementing sustainable landscaping practices. These grant applications demonstrate the Park District's commitment to investing in the future of Fargo's parks. By securing external funding, the Park District can continue to provide residents with top-notch recreational facilities and preserve the natural beauty of our city. Section 5. New Ordinance Addressing Camping on Public Property The board addressed the issue of camping on public property, a growing concern in Fargo. After careful consideration and public input, the board approved an ordinance prohibiting camping on all Park District property. The ordinance, drafted to address public health and safety concerns, aims to ensure that parks remain accessible and enjoyable for all residents. The ordinance prohibits overnight camping in parks, along with activities such as cooking, storing personal belongings, and building fires outside designated areas. The Park District recognizes that homelessness is a complex issue and is committed to working with local organizations to connect individuals experiencing homelessness with appropriate resources and support. The ordinance is not intended to criminalize homelessness, but to ensure the safety and well-being of all park users. The Park District will work to educate the public about the new ordinance and its implications. Park rangers will be responsible for enforcing the ordinance, prioritizing communication and outreach to ensure a smooth transition and minimize any potential negative impacts on vulnerable populations. Section 6. Public Input. A Voice in the Process. The Fargo Park District values the voices of its residents. The September board meeting provided ample opportunities for public input. Residents shared their perspectives, concerns, and suggestions. They expressed support for proposed park improvements, offering insights into community needs. This open dialogue fostered transparency and collaboration. 
Decisions reflect the diverse needs of the community. Section 7. Budget Approval. Funding Fargo's Recreational Future. A key highlight of the September board meeting was the presentation and approval of the Fargo Park District's annual budget. The budget, a reflection of the district's priorities and commitment to providing exceptional recreational opportunities, outlines the allocation of resources for the upcoming fiscal year. The budget includes funding for park maintenance and improvements, program expansion, new equipment purchases, and staff salaries. The board meticulously reviewed each line item, ensuring that every dollar allocated aligns with the Park District's mission of enhancing the quality of life for Fargo residents. The budget reflects a fiscally responsible approach to managing public funds while ensuring the continued growth and enhancement of Fargo's parks and recreational programs. The board's approval of the budget demonstrates its commitment to providing residents with access to high-quality recreational opportunities while maintaining fiscal prudence. The Fargo Park District's budget is a testament to its commitment to providing exceptional recreational experiences for all. By investing in parks, programs, and staff, the Park District is ensuring a bright future for Fargo's green spaces and the communities they serve. The Fargo Park District's commitment to community engagement extends far beyond board meetings. Throughout the year, the Park District hosts a diverse array of events and programs designed to bring people together and foster a sense of belonging. From concerts in the park, to fitness classes, to educational workshops, there's something for everyone to enjoy. These events provide opportunities for residents of all ages and backgrounds to connect with their community, learn new skills, and create lasting memories. The Park District also partners with local organizations and businesses to expand its reach and impact. These collaborations allow the Park District to leverage resources and expertise to provide even more enriching experiences for residents. The Fargo Park District's dedication to community engagement is evident in everything it does. By creating opportunities for people to connect, learn, and grow, the Park District is strengthening the fabric of our community and making Fargo a truly special place to live. The September board meeting provided a glimpse into the exciting future of the Fargo Park District. The board discussed several upcoming projects and initiatives that promise to further enhance Fargo's parks and recreational offerings. One such project is the development of a new dog park, a much-anticipated addition for Fargo's furry residents and their owners. The new dog park will feature separate areas for large and small dogs, 